This is John Demokas. Thank you for joining me today. Today we're going to talk about a very important topic in eliminating nitrates in your aquarium. One of several strategies that I've covered in a number of my videos. I've produced quite a few videos on my channel on how I've been successful in eliminating nitrates from my five aquariums, about 1,400 gallons in, in total. And they're all uh, approaches that uh, rely on nature and they're relatively simple. And uh, the bottom line, and I cover this in another video, is that you can achieve uh, zero nitrates without some of the more involved methods listed here like desubstrate, BCB filters, and so on. All of my aquariums, uh, all five of them representing about 1,400 gallons of water, uh, none of them have bottom substrate. There is a small amount of substrate in pots, which I cover in another video. But uh, this is one of the key uh, strategies to reducing uh, nitrates in my experience and that's what we're going to talk about uh, today how a substrate free bottom no substrate contributes towards the elimination of nitrates and I'll provide a link to this video that I uh, produced some time back in uh, the comments a few science facts first to, to give us the basis for uh, understanding why fish feces contribute so much to our uh, high nitrates. Uh, this is based on uh, many experiments and studies done academically and in the commercial fish farming industry. And what they found is that fish feces are more than 50% uh, protein on a uh, dry weight basis. So the second piece of science, you have uh, okay, the fish producing the feces, which are uh, more than 50% protein, and the nitrogen cycle, of course, which we're all familiar with, breaks down the uh, protein into ammonia, nitrite, and uh, nitrate. And unless we remove these uh, proteins and ammonia and other uh, harmful substances and, and even the nitrates, they accumulate in our glass boxes and become harmful to our aquarium inhabitants. So using a little bit of science, uh, let's try to understand uh, what is happening in our glass boxes. So the fish produce the feces which are primarily protein. The feces drop to the bottom of the aquarium where the substrate acts somewhat as a magnet and attracts and holds onto the feces. <clears throat> While in the substrate, this uh, breaks down into uh, the ammonia byproducts and ultimately nitrates, which uh, are dispersed into our aquariums and contribute towards our high nitrates, which many of us eliminate with water changes. Many of us also, moving on to the, the uh, lower right uh, picture, we gravel vac in order to eliminate uh, the, these waste products and to keep our, our nitrates uh, uh, down. Uh, if you were like me, when I used to uh, gravel vac, this was one of my most unpleasant tasks, and I would put it off to the last minute, and uh, as a consequence, it would uh, this this biological process would add a lot of nitrates to my aquariums, which I uh, have eliminated. And we'll talk about now with the elimination of the substrate. So much for a little science. Let's now talk about how this uh, works in practical terms, no substrate. This is a 50 gallon tall aquarium, no substrate. If you look between the plants, all you can see is a, uh, a glass uh, bottom. 
PayPal. I'm going to go a little bit uh, deeper, and uh, you can see that there is essentially no detritus, uh, no f fish feces. Uh, all of these plants, by the way, are attached to uh, uh, rocks, and they're uh, primarily uh, uh, anubias. Now, the uh, bio load in this aquarium is uh, relatively high. Uh, let's look at the fish a little bit more. I've got two large angels, which uh, I feed uh, three or four times a day. They're, they're a breeding pair, so they get a quite, quite a bit of food to promote growth. I've got nine uh, Neolamprologus lalupi, so I've got a colony of them. I've got a couple of Siamese algae eaters to work on the black uh, beard algae. And I also have uh, a colony, and, and everybody knows how dirty the placos are. I've got a colony of uh, 10 or 12 albino uh, bristlenose uh, uh, placos. And again, you can see here how the bottom is essentially cle clean. There's a few spots where there's some, some food that I fed them a few minutes ago, but it doesn't stay there very long. Now, one of the ways I, uh, I keep the food moving along the bottom and to an area where I can remove it, I've got a, a uh, Sunsun 404B, and I've created a current that traps the uh, detritus into uh, about and to one corner of the aquarium, which you can see here. Other than this mound of uh, detritus, and you can see some uneaten food, uh, the rest of the tank is uh, essentially free from any uh, sources of decomposition that would create nitrates. So it's been about four days. I go in there, I suck all of this out, and uh, with a siphon, what what would have contributed contributed otherwise greatly to uh, the nitrates uh, in this uh, uh, aquarium system. And uh, I only have to vacuum out this one corner because, as I mentioned, the rest of the aquarium is uh, uh, essentially clean and clear from the current from the uh, Sun Sun uh, returns. So I hope uh, this video is clear on the science behind why we need to re eliminate feces from our glass boxes in order to keep our nitrates down and uh, how I do this within my system by uh, eliminating uh, the substrate and being able to very easily and frequently remove the uh, feces and the detritus from uh, one small area of the aquarium. I look forward to your comments and uh, questions, and uh, I hope this video helps you in your, in your fish keeping hobby. Thank you.